Hello, welcome back to Research Methodology Group. This is the third event of a Systematic Literature Review Workshop. And then in this event, I'm going to share with you how to do citation screening to decide how to include and how to exclude as a, a team. And uh, if you are working alone, make sure that you find a colleague or a friend uh, with the research experience to code at least one part of your uh, citation using inclusion and ex exclusion criteria you set. This way can avoid very um, obvious bias you may have in the research. So in the last event, I already introduced four types of search you can apply to look for relevant literature from the internet. Um, but we all know that such results will not be accurate and cannot be directly applied, um, cannot be directly used for the further research. So we need to apply manual screening to make sure what we include in our literature review, in our systematic literature review, will be the most relevant ones for our study. So I would like to draw your attention again to the systematic literature review workflow of, uh, um, in the case of our project again. And it's a 12 phase work and divided into three stages. And today's event will be mainly introducing main screening in phase six under stage two. To again, highlight this at the very beginning of presentation, uh, you have to get the inclusion and exclusion criteria quite clear at the very beginning. You have to, preferably, you, you have to write it down in, um, in such a format so that you can see on the screen to make sure that um, you can look at them clearly, communicate with other coders in the team clearly. So in our case, we include, um, we consider language, publication, years, age group, education setting, different kind of, uh, all these different kind of criteria. Exclusion criteria may um, maybe just opposite of the inclusion criteria, but not always such um, in such a way. But in our case, it's more or less the opposite statement of inclusion criteria, just to uh, list some examples of to, to be excluded. For instance, in the education setting, you can see here, here you see we're going to exclude uh, higher education, vocational, vocational education, community college, things like that. So um, here I'm giving you the, the exact insight of what we did um, during the process of uh, citation screening. And on the left side, you see that we actually divide the whole citations, the whole pool of citations um, we got from the four type of search, uh, sorry, from the former searching, actually from databases. Um, we divided them into three bulks, equally um, divided in three um, bulks. And uh, for each bulk, there are two groups of coders and arbitrators to, to do the coding. And for each um, bulk, exactly four, four steps procedure uh, were followed, as you can see on the right side of the presentation. So um, let's see the first step of the procedure is junior coder and the senior coder, they both code the given citations independently without communicating with each other. And when they have that result ready, we calculated the co 
hence kappa coefficient, which is to measure the inter-rater um, reliability. Okay. And then we have these two coding results on the table. Then the senior coder will possibly adjust um, his or her coding based on the comparison. So um, in the second step, actually, senior coders revision is influenced by the junior coders coding result. And again, we calculate the Cohen's kappa coefficient. And then the senior coder passes this result to uh, junior coder. So junior coder now adjust his or her coding based on the step two's result. So um, his or her result will be influenced by the senior coder's um, coding. So we again calculate kappa coefficient. And in the end, if these two persons didn't arrive at the same coding as a result, there are still some conflicting coding to be to be decided then in the fourth step an arbitrator will be responsible for such decision after that kappa value is calculated again so these four steps each time when the a bulk of coding take place exactly this four steps will be followed okay and the next slide here you see is a summary of it's kind of recording the result of each bulk each group um, through the whole procedure so you have first you have group as i said we have two groups we have bulk so for each group you have one, two, three, bulk, right? And the third one is comparison. So um, exactly as what I said, the first is junior versus senior pre-coding. Second is junior pre-coding versus senior coder post. Third one is junior coder post versus senior coder post and the fourth one is arbitrator decision and the this is the final okay so the fourth column is rate of agreement so the first step junior coder pre versus senior coder pre the agreement percentage the agreement level was 77.3 percent and the Corresponding kappa value was 0 0.5881, which was moderate agreement between them. And in the end, group one in bulk one, they included 83 citations, excluded 120, and in total, they coded 203. So you can actually interpret each bulk each group's result like this and uh, there's also one subtotal section here so that is to calculate in total three bulks what happened here okay so um in total three bulks um, in group one they actually um junior pre-coding versus senior coder pre the agreement level is 81.8% um, quite high, and the kappa value was 0 0.649, and the agreement level reached a substantial, which was perfect. And uh, <laughs> perfect. So the final result was they actually included 227, excluded 322, and total they coded three bulks. A total of 609 citations so the same thing worked for group two you can interpret the whole table this way in the end this is what happened okay this is what happened in the end for both group so we excluded 950 
include 268, a total 1,218 citations were coded. Okay, and uh, the the junior coder pre and uh, the um, senior coder pre, the rates of agreement reached 80. 85.9% with the Kappa value as um, 0 0.631, the agreement level ar arrived at substantial. So it was a quite reliable result. So um, in the next um, several slides, I'm going to show you some um, screenshots of the um, working tables we use to to execute to to um, always cannot say this word properly um, to carry out this screening task. So the first one, the first table I want to show you is coders independent coding table. So no matter it's a junior or senior coder, they use the same independent coding table as you can see here. It's a screenshot here. The first column is the coding area. So we use the system of zero as to in exclude, one as to include, two as undecided. So you can see the result of coding here. And for this step, what, in, what is very important is to have oops, title of the publication, abstract of the um, publication and URL to the full text because sometimes when you cannot decide it just by reading title and abstract you need to go to the full text and to the relevant sections to look for detail to affirm your um, your decision of coding so that's the first table the second table is two coders results comparing table as you can see here um, this is the step one, step two, step three, four. Okay, this is exactly what I was introducing before. And the data structure is just the same as you see here. It's just the different results of coding, comparing, or progressing. So um, you can see that there's an index column to mark the index number of citations. And junior coders, junior coders colon, senior coders colon, and this is the automatically calculated area to compare the difference between these two. So as you can see that, um, oops, as you can see that um, the junior coder actually included 68 citations out of 203. I left 10 as undecided, while senior coder included 80 and left um, 16 as undecided. Overall, their agreement level reached 77.3% and uh, the Kappa value was 0 0.581, which was moderate. So the same procedure repeats over from one to two to three to four. And then in the end, hopefully, um, the results will be um, everybody agree on what to include and what to exclude. And ideally, there will be no unresolved, um, unresolved re uh, coding in, in the citations. So the next table is all results integrated in the same table to compare to calculate inter-rater reliability and uh, level of agreement. So it's basically the similar, very similar, very similar uh, from the previous table structure, but um, to combine everything. Okay, so again, this one, two, three, four, and the final. Okay, so you again have this agreement level, you have this couple value, you have this coding area, and you have this uh, summary of what happened. Okay, so in the end, after you finish all the coding, you decided what is one, what is zero, you in the end included every, um, 
every citation you mark as one into one table for further action. Okay. So this is basically what I would like to share with you today. I hope you have your research. Uh, make sure you 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 know organize, pay attention to the data structure when you are doing systematic literature review, especially if you're a project lead because you needed to set up uh, the working tables for everybody. So you gotta um, develop your own template, or you can use my template to help you to start. But make sure um, you discuss with your team members if you work in a team. And uh, I will see you in the next tutorial.